my name is uh, dr askin tang uh, i uh, my parents are um, mr rajiv tang and mrs onam pertin tang i'm i belong from kreet village in isyang district uh, i did my schooling from jnb uh, pasigat and then from jnb actually then my graduation from 2012 to 18 in uh, mbbs from grand medical college mumbai uh, after that i joined as a medical officer in the year 2018 till 2022 i was working as a medical officer in the primary health center in borgoli uh, after that uh, i started uh, uh, regarding with this uh, upsc journey uh, i started preparing after i joined my uh, as a medical officer uh, I think it was in the year 2019, January around January 2019, I started a preparation for the UPSC after joining as a medical officer, and uh, I was lucky enough that in my first attempt I could clear that uh, mains, and I did get my interview in 2020 also, but I couldn't clear that because of uh, I think around it was 14 or 15 marks uh, in peg in 2020. After that, COVID came for two years. Uh, I was busy as a doctor since I was a doctor, so I was busy in, as in COVID 20 to 21. I couldn't clear the prelims, and uh, in uh, luckily I was in 2022. I could I cleared the prelims. Along with that, in between, uh, I gave the FPPSC exam also. This one FPPSC, uh, and I could qualified uh, in FPPSC uh, FPPSC batch 2022. Uh, and so I joined in February last year 2022. Uh, by that time, I had already given my um, uh, pre pre uh, no I haven't given it. Uh, Uh, the prelims I, i i gave my prelims after joining as a circle officer in yingkyong then after that uh, mains uh, mains was last september 2022 and interview this year uh, interview was on march 13 march 2 2023 and uh, lucky enough i got selected this year uh, this was my second uh, interview uh, in the fourth attempt uh, if somebody knows then uh, my uh, optional was anthropology and So right now I am working as a circle officer. <laughs> well, uh, since you were working on the field as a doctor, and even the optional subject was nothing related to the main uh, work. So how tough was it to study, and how did you cope up with your work and your studies? Yeah, exactly. Uh, when you work as a like as a official, like uh, I I was working in as a doctor. Along with that, uh, there was a COVID came in between twenty and twenty two. 21 the first wave second wave uh, there was lack of manpower during that period it was very hard to cope up with it so by i think more, because of covid only i couldn't clear that time the prelims back in 20 and 21 also and and optional to usually what we do is we try to study optional after clearing prelims only if, uh, if i don't clear prelims also i usually don't try to attempt that only so i don't try to prepare the optional so it, it's very hectic uh, like मुश्किल हो जाता है ये क्या बोलते दोनों को बैलेंस करना वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस लकी इनफ हो गया कि यहाँ सिविल सर्विस में सीईओ बन गया तो सर्कल ऑफिसर मिलने के बाद लाइक माय सीनियर्स एंड अदर्स वेर वेरी हेल्पफुल दैट दे वेर लाइक कोऑर्डिनेटिंग द वर्क लोड फॉर मी वाज मिनिमल एज मिनिमल एज पॉसिबल फॉर देम एंड आई हैड लाइक ट्रेनिंग इन बिटवीन ऑल्सो सो मोस्ट ऑफ द नाइट्स आई वेर फ्री सो आई कुड स्टडी मोर ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड Uh, yeah exactly like people what they say like the persistence is required since uh, you won't believe like from 22 22 till this interview i used to at least morning early morning one hour i used to read the hindu and then at night i used to study current affairs from insights is and the daily current affairs from insights is is and forum is also in the in the evening so usually two hours daily study was there along with that the subjects also is a different thing this was a regular affair So for two and a half years, I had studied continuously every day. So it's it's a required thing for UPSC. You it's a long journey, like one and a half year. It takes a long one and a half year for the whole process to be completed. So you have to study every night, at least an hour. Uh, any, uh, did you take any coaching or just self study? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, with regarding to coaching, uh, I would like to say that also. Uh, me personally. took just two months of crash course after my uh, this i cleared apcs uh, prelims so for mains i i took a crash course for two months uh, other than that i had never taken any other courses so it was all self study back in 2019 when i cleared this uh, ups prelims and then mains i gave mains i realized that if you sits there is a good guide 
you usually uh, tend to be in the right direction because I wasted like uh, the main the big day back in 2019 when I gave the mains there were so many topics which I had no idea that they were part of the course also when giving the mains so I think like coaching like regarding coaching I think like uh, so many people are usually now also messages me like whether should we do coaching this day and all so for three years I did self-study and wasted my years like why which topic is there which topic is not it's it's a very like rigorous thing also if somebody doesn't explain you uh, literally then it's very hard to know so we did that topic was part of the, this uh, paper also the general studies paper in the main so i would like yeah i haven't done any coaching uh, with regard to that uh, just two months and crash course other than that, i've done all self-study and the other thing would be uh, like if somebody like if uh, later on if somebody listens uh, i would suggest that it's better to do coaching uh, co coaching uh, if, if you if you can afford to do coaching i would suggest that do coaching in a good institute like the, which gives a one year tenure uh, that coaching thing and all so it's better if, if you do one year coaching uh, because like two three months uh, it, you, they will never complete uh, you the, the courses they will never be completed in time in two three months so at least take a one year or ten month course uh, that would be very helpful because i i literally wasted three years just knowing like in my first attempt also because i didn't know so many topics were part of the gs uh, general studies like i didn't couldn't attempt so many questions back then so this year since i had done the two two months crash course then the teachers at least guided me that this, this is part of part uh, this all are parts of the main thing so at least study this there also so i and then back this year 2022 i did better self-study this year uh usually uh, the interview is usually done in this uh upsc bhavan new delhi uh, there are also uh, i think one two five 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 one chairman is there and there are four members are there uh this uh this uh, uh they are very cordial like uh, when you see in this uh, facebook and all they usually write they ask a riddle and whether this is the right answer. They, they never ask that question. It's all current affairs affairs, general questions only, which are related to the current thing, like news, which is going on politically, economically in the country. Uh, and like any international issues are, if, if there are international issues popping up, that the questions are very cordial. And the chairman and every, every people are very cordial in the interviews also. Like it's not like what we see in the Facebook, like they will ask this riddle, that riddle, it's never that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, in, in my interview during that, uh, the toughest question would be uh, this one. They asked me related to a medical field, but since I have already left medical uh, for one year back, so it was hard for me to recall. They they were asking me about something related to heart stents and all, whether it comes under something act or not. Just one question I would like to ask: Many of the people who uh, this uh, regarding that, uh, what I will say, like I had also done my part in the COVID also in the first or second year, I was working as a doctor uh, in in a primary health center, and after that also this knowledge which I have gained as a doctor profession. It will never be lost with me. Uh, if, if I become in, in future, if I'm lucky enough, if I come to Arunachal on deputation or someone or anything, if I become a secretary of the health department, I would be the perfect person because I have already worked as a medical profession for four years and then a circle officer for one and a half years. And so I would know the ground realities and everything. So I think the experience you gain with that uh, related uh, and moreover, uh, this. Uh, civil services is a generalized uh, uh, work so every generalist are required so any even a one someone from humanities or commerce are also required or even from engineers are also required because it's a generalist subject they uh, usually all the secretaries helm uh, secretaries are from different uh, backgrounds and they they undertake uh, they overlook departments which are very different like industries some to remote they can be a fisheries so you have to be a generalist only so even a doctor is required that's what i feel any word of advice to all the young people, 
Uh, regarding this, uh, I think uh, that uh, since the commission is going to be formed uh, soon, so maybe uh, they, they, uh, soon there, there will be examination notification will come out. But uh, the final message I would like to say is like if you can afford coaching, kindly do coaching. <laughs> That's what I will say. If you can't, but you can also clear it because since I have done self studies also, with self studies I have almost clear APCS and this, but UPSC and other thing just too much of pressure uh, then but with self study also you can do it but it just takes a time so you take a good guide also you take a good senior anyone good guide senior uh, uh, any like even a coaching teacher who are very helpful even if you don't go there in their coaching also they usually are very helpful if you say sir kindly can you guide me once this that that would be my take yeah yes exactly the syllabus is like 100 percent similar even the prelims questions pattern and even this uh, course is also very similar even the, the pattern of the uh, main question which are coming nowadays the, the one which i attempted is very similar uh, so i would say like if you you go for upsc coaching because then automatically you will be prepared for APCS. Since you have been an APSC officer, many of the athletes in your APCS have so many things are coming to your APCS and those who have passed your previous year. What would you like to say about it? Because there were some people, uh, some organizations are saying that uh, some of the officers could not be accepted and other ones could not be accepted out of their company. New exam. Uh, are you asking regarding do I support null and void or that? <laughs> okay, it's a very controversial thing, but uh, I would like to say on this regard that there is a philosophy of Jainism uh, which is called Anekanta Vada, where you have to look at different angles or in a, or for a particular thing. But through this one, was you, whoever is the viewer, who from that point of view, he is the correct one. So multi view, uh, this one sidedness or multi multi sidedness. So with regards to that, uh, even the experience who are protesting and others are also who are uh, the who are against this null and void, both are correct in their view. And with me personally, since I'm working in, in this field, I'm already working as a, uh, a civil service officer. So obviously, I will be towards uh, inclined towards that view. Like we, I will support that. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get null and void. But there's the thing. Like there is no correct solution to this that who, who is right who is wrong i can't say that but because since the truth is very different that truth is that there has been corruption and there has been like paper what do we call leakage or selling oh yeah paper selling or leakage both so i empathize with the experience also there are so many friends also of mine who personally ask me i usually uh, support them also physically i have done physically monetarily and even uh, with tips also, <laughs> some insider information also. But other than that, I usually support them because I know what they have been gone through. Because I have some so many relatives who are uh, uh, jobless, who have missed the exams from one, two, or three months. Because they are also correct in their side. This the job is, uh, who are working also they are also correct in their side. That that, that would be my answer for them. So what are you looking forward to Okay, uh, in that regard, I would like to like, clarify one thing that UPSC, there are so many services. So I don't know the allocation has not been done. Most probably like IS, it's an improbability, but you never know, right? So most probably I won't be an IS, but maybe I can be, but according to the ranking, it depends. They allocate according to the ranking. It will be done within a month or next month. So I can never say that but yeah i will be a uh, that central service uh, services i will join central services obviously it can be an uh, indian revenue service indian police service indian foreign service or uh, indian audit services what are you looking forward to are you excited yeah i am very excited like the day the result came like there were so many calls and messages like literally i have never had that much of call and messages in a year <laughs> in a day i had that many days calls and messages so i'm very like i was like for two three days i was literally like in i felt like i was in a heaven like. uh, 
uh, this credit uh, i would like to give this to my parents and my big brother my big brother he he also topped his like engineering examination back in 2014 so he was like you you only got rank 29 in civil services uh, and this in medical also i was just rank 51 so he was like i talked what are you doing this and that he helped me i motivated a lot and my mother uh, my mother was very confident on me like she always used to pray every day for me for my this uh, this i be in good health and my exams are good in in any other way and my father is very strict in that regard so my mother you won't believe this uh, you can ask any of my fcs 2022 friends before giving mains also my friends used to ask me like will you clear this exam when i was like yeah i will clear this exam because since my mother said that she she was very confident on me yeah, you will clear because last time since you had no idea on so many topics so since you missed by 14 marks you can easily recover that and i was lucky enough that i could easily recover like 38 marks this year so i i qualified this year so my friends uh, they used to ask me before result also i used to say yeah i will easily get because i have improved a lot from since last uh, uh, upsc mains because back then i i didn't know so many topics were included in the syllabus also so i was like confident and up before result also my mom was like yeah, you will get don't be any <laughs> don't have any problem yeah tension not low okay yeah. thank you thank you so much